All right, we are live. Hello. Today is August 12th, 2017. And I have with me um, Lainey, Christine, Marlene, Selyesh, and Sakina. Hello, everybody. And I'm bringing you Gananda in a second. <laughs> Today, I will speak about their shift, the transition, the move, the ascension the transformation, the change. <laughs> we have been asked a question. How to stabilize the situation? How to stabilize the situation? I invite you to picture, to imagine an illustration. I will give you an illustration, picture it in your mind. Imagine a prison. Simplistic. The pillars, the roof, guards and doors, and many people inside living there for generations. Now the doors are open and the prison is shaken and the guards are fleeing. And the prisoners are so afraid to step out. They're so attached to their prison. They have the keys for the locks and chains, but yet they're so attached to the chain, so attached to the prison. They hold it, fix it, hold the pillars, and they're afraid to step out. Some are fleeing, and some stay inside. It is not a physical prison. It is a prison of your mind. It is the prison of the empire, of the global empire. You choose, it's your choice, whether to stay or to go. It's your choice whether to hold it, hold the pillar. Thank you. Holding the pillars, fixing the walls, or whether to move on. Whether to move on alone or to move on together. Some of you are preservers by nature. So it's natural for you to preserve, to be conservative, to be attached to the material possessions. It is natural and it is good. So maybe you are to stay and hold the building until others are escaping. It is an honored self-sacrifice, an honored self-sacrifice. We honor it. Holding the prison while allowing others to escape is important. It's not the physical building. It's not the planet Earth. It is the prison of your collective mind. 
if you see the humanity it is stuck in the prison of brainwashing mass media brainwashing military deceptions military trickery crimes financial deceptions and so on it's all an illusion it is visible for everyone but yet people are afraid to move on you are collectively and individually afraid to move on but here the prison is shaken you can see the cracks you can see the signs of decay everywhere the social systems the information systems financial systems even army systems are outdated and uh, needs need rebuilding rebuilding common sense is shining through the cracks the light of common sense is shining through the cracks see it is see this as it is see this situation as it is clear your mind wake up to realization where the humanity is now and where it is going some answers is some answers are absolutely obvious so see them clearly there is a lot of obvious things as long as you lift yourself just a bit above the brainwashing and see over it see through it see through deception one of the sicknesses of the modern society is advertisement spam extreme amounts of spam extreme amounts of noise advertising noise which makes everybody blind and deaf blind and deaf that is one of the biggest sicknesses deception is another one people not keeping their word people continuously deceiving others and considering that a norm what the society needs is trust of people to each other trust and hearing each other listening to each other and understanding each other that is desperately needed in all countries in all levels among all people more understanding common language listening and speaking clearly without deception so i invite you to welcome the transition to be the transition to be with it manifest it it is needed it is the only way of saving the people in the prison the people have to come out the prison is destined to fall the people can be saved only by coming out i don't know when i don't know how but that's a paradox you're choosing between the danger of coming out and the danger of staying inside the prison and on my personal opinion the danger of staying inside the prison is now much higher and outside all those scary all the unknown is healthier and safer 
that is my view take your stand clear your mind and look around and see of what it is another topic which is important for today is grounding 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 staying here and now staying here and now i will give you i will give you another illustration imagine in your mind a tribe transitioning a tribe on the move from one place to another an example of such move would be the exodus the exodus the tribe in the move another example of that would be migration migration of all the people from the old world to the new world the times after columbus the migration and you are imagine yourself to be a scout you went ahead and visited the new world visited the new land you are ahead of the crowd now you have a choice to settle in the new land or to come back to the crowd to the tribe and give them what you know it's not only the words not only the words not only the information not only the textual information not only the message it is the fire you imagine yourself in the dark bringing the new fire the torch lit up from the new world to your tribe and sharing your fire with others lighting up their torches and lighting up the way that is a kind of grounding i'm talking about i'm inviting you to be with your tribe coming back to your tribe and helping your tribe to move collectively you already know the path you already know the way and your tribe is a mix of everybody some are high some are low some are progressors, some are conservatives. I invite you to help your tribe to move all together. It is a treasure which needs saving. It is a treasure which can be saved. Do you feel lonely? do you feel incomplete are you striving for unity it is the tribe which makes you complete each of you in this game in this theater in this drama each of you volunteered to come down in this game separated and incomplete you have been separated from the whole and you carry that pain of separation and you carry that memory of being united of being complete without your tribe you are incomplete and will be ever incomplete with your tribe 
together you unite and approach completion. Each of you is just a fragment of the complete unit. So being together, uniting together in the transition allows completion. Make circles. Strive for unity. Each of you carries a key, carries a piece of puzzle. Together, you assemble the new world. Together. Each having a piece of puzzle. Together, you assemble the puzzle. That's how the game is designed. And once the completion is over, it is obvious for you, it will be obvious for you that you also contributed your piece. That you had your message. And together you assembled. Together you made it possible. See that future. It is near. The completion is near. Realize, I'm not inviting you to ground and stay grounded and never look up. No. I invite you to anchor the skies, anchor down below. Bring the higher energy down and anchor it. Be in two places at once, in higher dimensional kingdom and down below with the people, with the tribe. Two places at once. And if it is hard for you to carry all of them at once, shift up and down, up and down with your own speed, own frequency, up and down. One day up, one day down. Morning up, evening down. But come back down and ground yourself in the tribe. Be together. Because you may help the tribe to move on to transition. Some of you are talented scouts going forward and looking for new solutions, new answers. Some of you are talented healers. Some of you are talented communicators. And some of you have many other keys and skills. And some of you just need to be present and observe. Just being present and observe is enough. But do observe. Be with the tribe. Look around. Be in your body. Your body is a gift. To be together and feel the pain of others. It is a gift. And that gift is... dear not only for your progression but also for the universe the universe the creation the creator is looking through your eyes feeling the situation through your senses you are the eyes of god you are the senses of god Father, mother, daughter, son, uncle, aunt, grandmother, grandfather, all 
God looking through your eyes. So I give you a little tool for connecting your higher vibrations and lower vibrations. Place your right hand on your heart, right palm on your heart and the left palm on your stomach and your heart would symbolize the higher dimension the dimension of trust the truth and unity trust the truth and unity and your stomach symbolizes for you the lower dimension the earth the grounding the food the humanity the struggle for power even the deception, all is there. So use your two hands to connect the two, to synchronize the two, to harmonize the two. As you shift and connect to the higher dimension, you don't leave the body. You don't leave the old world. You bring them all together. It's all united in harmony. So keep breathing deeply and consciously and intend to unite and harmonize the sky and the ground, the soil and the higher dimensions. Be children of God. Be manifesting the higher energies of God in your body. Be the eyes the voice and perception of the divine and the last for today tool i give you is very simple on the fly as you do your running daily routine if you need grounding if you need focus if you need centering if you need balance Hold the space, the energy between your palms and hold it bit near to your heart. That will allow you to center in your heart. The energy, the ball of energy to center in your heart. In your heart chakra, in front of you. In your heart chakra, in front of you. It can be very quick, just a few seconds Take a breath and center. And that's it. It is a tool for quick centering, quick ground, quick harmonization of higher and lower. Centering in one place all the energies coming back to your heart. Coming back to your heart. With that, I conclude my introduction. Prepare your questions. <clears throat> I invite comments and questions. <sighs> okay, I'll go first, Yogananda. Sakina, yes, speak uh, slow and you'll be good. It's been a while I've seen you and it's so wonderful. It's a while I've seen you, it's so wonderful as but, well um last time we talked about money and i wanted to share with you uh the progress i made um wonderful it, it was amazing because uh <laughs> two things happened uh one was um you said that you used to leave it to god 
you know, you take the step and leave it to God. Yes. And that I had forgotten. I had forgotten that I'm, I'm so much like you. You know, is, is that I, I came from India and I jumped and then de dealt with everything. And that was my nature before I got into a prison uh, through my this lifetime's experience, which was meant to be so I can get out of that prison and get stronger, right? Right. Yeah. So that was wonderful. So um, you did help me. I know you were <laughs> you, you you were trying so hard to convey you know to convey to me. At that time, I was a little bit closed in my head, you know, or something. It was not opening. But then I saw the videos again, and I uh, wow, you know, it it freed me so much, you know. And uh, also my financial issues or whatever I had, you know, that is resolved. Just, wow, yay. Take a breath. And, and take a breath <laughs> and stay with that. Accept it. Uh, yeah. Accept it. Accept it. Still, no, accept it yeah. as normal. It's healthy. Oh, yes, yes. It I'm, is normal. Uh, it's not something ex extremely, it's not a miracle. It's healthy. You made it because because it is right you made yeah. it because it is normal it is just healing you heal your body and you healed your reality it is healing thank you for healing your reality. thank you yes, for coming back to normal flow you are just back to the flow thank you continue please continue <laughs> I, I think I'm getting back. I've started to move towards myself again. Um, nice. Yeah. Um, I still, I'm still working on uh, my, uh, you know, my regular job thing. I'm back to I'm opening up and I'm taking steps. So which is good. And, One uh, step at a time. Don't run in all directions at once. Today you go <laughs> one direction. Tomorrow, from where you are, choose best direction not all directions at once there is only one of you there <laughs> <laughs> stay well, with your body don't run away from your body be with your body play with the gift of your body one body moving one way in a time i know you used to be in many bodies but at this reality you just got one so stay with your body and move in one direction at once. Don't split yourself. I'm it's trying. not in this game to be able to split yourself yet. I, oh, is that the reason why I was so scattered? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Um, but, uh, so where am I at? Um, I know my chakras are all open now. Um, but what, what is my position right now in this, what you were talking today? Uh, am I out of the prison? It is choices to make. And to make the choices, I invite you just come back to here and now and relax. <laughs> when you are deciding what yeah. to do, just relax and wait for the understanding to come to you. It's not that you have to go out and look for the answer. It's you go in and invite the answer and just open your heart and wait invite with love attract the answer with love and see what comes it is from the relaxed state from the state of happiness from the state of stability from the state of acceptance where you can get the true answer Yes, that's exactly what I, last night, last night, another revelation uh, opened up. I said, I just have to let it be, you know, just not think and allow, just allow completely and then let it go. Yes, allow. Yes, allow. From the state of peace. Do you mind muting now? Mind now. Okay. okay, I'll mute you. Thank you. All right, from the state of peace, 
you get many answers because the state of peace the state of safety the state of being loved the state of balance remove so many blockages remove so many fears that you can see clear harmonizing connecting reconnecting the parts of you from the state of peace being whole again integrating all the experiences for in the into the state of peace where you are now see you are from a certain perspective you are a spot of light moving through their lines landscape of the universe it is a little spot a little vortex compared to universe but that's god goddess mother looking at itself through you and that spot of light is moving so at a certain point there is a center of this spot and that's where you are your attention but your attention is the attention of the creator looking at itself so as that spot is moving through the landscape you change the focus is moving so to see better the landscape to see better outside you need to be in the center of that spot that's where you are that is your personality and from that center you are entitled for free will and make decisions so wait for the decision to come to you give a birth to it seed accept the seeds and give a birth to the decision from the center from the center from your inner center i invite more comments and questions from uh, anyone Ian. Yes, I was wondering if you might be able to help me with this or not. And that is, last weekend, I fell I fell asleep and was basically asleep for three days, which is something that happens to me occasionally. But this particular time, um, I only thought I was asleep for two. <laughs> So I missed 24 hours that is unaccounted for. I think it was last Sunday that didn't literally, for me, did not exist. No memory of the day. The entire day just disappeared. I woke up what was what I thought was going to be Monday, and it was actually Tuesday. Do you know what happened to me during that 24-hour missing period? I don't. It sounds wonderful. Did it mess up any of your physical activities? Uh, no, it did not. And the health remains okay. Is your health remaining all right? Uh, my health is actually starting to improve. So I would just take it as given. It is part of the mystery, part of their high energies work and that is normal some people lose only a few minutes and you were happy to lose longer but it was it was positive that's the only thing i can see okay great thank you um i'm not connected to that situation i'm not connected to these energies i'm sure there was much more happening there but it's not given to me at the moment uh hold on a second Uh, just as clues, as vague clues to the situation, uh, there is an image of bull, a bull and an eagle, and two foci, two bright foci, two bright stars, two bright stars. So maybe this would give you some clues to the situation later. A it is a mystery which you don't have to solve, but if you solve it, it will be pleasant. It would be another uplifting understanding. Okay, thank you. Thank you.
Uh, the bull could be a Taurus constellation. And uh, Eagle could be a Sinus Cygnus constellation. Check out the star maps. Maybe you'll get some clues from there. Any more comments, questions? Yogananda, it's Marlene. Hi. Hi, Marlene. Adonai. Adonai. My first question is in regards to um, what you were talking about uh, in regards to the fear that's still left amongst the collective to be to pull out of, of the existing matrix yes um there of course we're <laughs> we're dealing with the military and all those all those people still trying to keep us enslaved and we're pushing yes, hard all these nice people oh <laughs> yes for sure <laughs> um there are other aspects um that I would like to address, which is the pharma side and the financial side and re related to money. Um, my observation in this was is particularly relating to the medication that people take. Yes. The loans that people take. Yes. This is also a you know enslavement and keeping us in the matrix. Um, yes. Can you uh, give us some guidance in regards to these? There's many more that that I, I, I won't address now, but in particularly to these, where you can maybe 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 give us some type of guidance in regards to that and pulling out of it, because I mean we have everything within us to heal ourselves, everything within us to take the proper uh, uh, use the proper channels and get out of the matrix and be happy. So, um, how can you address this, this uh, Yogananda? Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you. Good question. <clears throat> I say purify yourself, clear up yourself, and look again at your housekeeping things, housekeeping habits, housekeeping design. Try to get off drugs of coffee of sugar of purified sugar of medicines of smoking just naturally set an intention and gradually observe yourself cleaning your cleaning up every day make an effort to clean up your routine in terms of medications and see empirically by trial and error see empirically how much you are dependent on the medications and can you actually get all the medications same thing with finances can you get all the loans pay all the loans and simplify your life maybe you don't need too many clothes maybe you don't need such a big apartment maybe you can move together with others especially in america people drive too far and stay in apartments which are too big for them this is an excess so maybe you can move together with others and pay little or pay nothing and pay in services and get off their loans pay off the loans and be financially independent help others to achieve the same be an example live a simple life go camping and realize how little you actually need go camping practice living on the move go travel in a nearby town and see for yourself how little do you actually need to live healthy because as you get off the medicines as you get all the electronic hooks as you get get back to nature you get so much more energy you get so much more health you don't need as many medical and electronic and uh, food uh, supplements because 
the energy that comes from nature supplements just fine, feeds you just fine. You need much less. It is only as you are trapped in the modern way of life that you need to drive far distances, have unhealthy schedule, and so on. Take a break if you can and simplify your life for yourself and be example for others. You don't need as much. Travel to poorer countries and see, travel to poor areas of your town and see how little people have and they still can be happy and healthy. Um, just a second, yes. Um, another thing is, the shift might be quite sudden and finances might fall apart quite suddenly and access to medicines might stop for a while. So prepare yourself for that transition where you would be not connected to finances and not connected to medicines. Prepare your body for that. Prepare your routine for that. It might be a short period of few days or it might be a longer period, a few months. And it can be even longer period. What is the scarcity of medicines? See what you really need. And maybe you can adjust your diet to be less dependent on medicines. Camp around, go camping, go travel into nearby town. Travel to the poor areas of the town. And get comfortable to be on the move. It is, it is a, a very interesting observation that during the time of the crisis, during the time of the war, people don't get sick as much. During the war, people become way healthier. It's a mystery, it's a paradox, but you will be given tons of energy. You will be less drained of energy during the time of the shift. You will be given lots more energy and health during the time of the shift. You will forget some of your sicknesses. As long as you stay connected to the purpose. As long as you are energized by the mission. Yes. You may continue. Thank you, Abhanda. My second question is in regards to an observation that I've made uh, <clears throat> in the last few days where I feel a lot of sadness um, around the collective. And the vision that I got was the existing earth and the new earth were like connected with, I will say, chains but the chains have broken away. And some people are beings that are on the planet will remain and others will be moving on. And that particular vision um, was very clear and very strong. Can you elaborate on this, please? Just a second. First, I would suggest to welcome the sadness and cry it out, actually cry with tears and cry it out. It is a release, release your sadness, release with the sadness, with tears, release the past. To receive new gifts, you have to let go of the past, let go of many fears, 
let go of many attachments, even the dear ones. Move on, change yourself. Invite the new energy to come and light up your soul. And don't hold on to the past. Pack away your photographs of the past. Move in a for distant corner. Drop your belongings. Keep only what is necessary for the mission. It's all part of the Akashic record anyway, so don't hold on something which doesn't serve you anymore. Let go, let go, let go of many things. Be on the move, be ready to move physically and especially mentally, especially emotionally, especially energetically. Be ready to shift. Whatever is necessary for the shift, you are a light moving through the universe. You don't carry with you anything. It's only the energy. It's only your attention, which is important. Only your body. Anything else can go. Just keep your body and drop the possessions. Not discard them, but drop the attachment. You still can use them, but don't be attached to anything material. Be thankful for their house, for their belongings, for people with you. Don't be attached to the belongings. Even to the people, you keep your kindness, but whatever happens, be with yourself. Your body is your responsibility. People who depend on you are your responsibility, but don't make it a condition. Whatever happens, you got to do your best make best choices for the situation not for the past but for the present be in the present and shift being in the present be the kindest strongest of the healers do whatever service you can do but not more than that don't carry the load of the past with you we need you here and now and another thing is I still see a great path for peaceful, healthy transition. I feel it. It is still there. It can be slow, but it can be healthy and healing and enlightened and positive. It is still there. Don't focus on the negative path. They're all near. They're all present. But there is still a path which is bright and positive. It can be a little slower, but it might be less traumatic. The economy doesn't have to completely fall apart. There is still much healthy and needed energy in the economy. It still can be fixed and transformed. And there can be peace. And there can be, can be healthy uniting of the people. There can be healthy communication and understanding. It is all possible, all within the reach. Focus on the positive side. Don't obsess about numbers. Obsess about the vision. No, no, no. Don't obsess about the numbers. Focus on the vision. Be energized by a positive vision. right thank you for the asking for asking thank you Sana, uh, yogananda thank you any more questions before we wrap up hi there um hey lani hi i was wondering what your take on the the human resonance the the earth om um vibration um i want i was wondering your take on it because it's changed lately and what yes absolutely it, yes yeah ah, you're already rising this the on the bumps and the things are shifting it's not the same you did you notice that you shifted so much it is not same you not same body not same spirit it is 
the light which is moving through landscape. That's my best analogy. It is the vortex which is moving through the waves. You know, the vortex of the water moving through the surface. It is the vortex. It is the change. It is the momentum of the spinning, but it moves. It's made of different waters as it moves through the water. It is a hurricane moving through the atmosphere. It's made of different particles, but it's still the same vortex. So the vortex moving through the medium, gaseous or liquid, is best to present in the, your personality. You are shifting, you are moving. Parts of you living yourself, parts of you are attaching to yourself. It is the vortex which is you, but the, ma the matter of the vortex is moving through you. Don't get attached to it, you can let it go. Don't grow too big, be more energized, but not attached to the possessions because it slows you down. Don't be attached as much to your body. The body is also changing, it is shifting. It is a purely supernatural shift. You're shifting into a new body every now and then. There are moments of shifting which are characterized by a temporary disconnect, losing your connection to the reality, losing time, actually gaining time or losing time. Time anomalies, health anomalies, sound anomalies. You hear different sounds. Boom, boom. You hear, you see flashes. It is a shifting from one reality to another. It is a group of elementals, a big team of elementals, resetting the system, upgrading the system, restarting the system. So once in a while you see that you wake up in a restarted system and things change. Things change so much that the material things are missing or moving or transformed. And you meet people from parallel realities who have different memories, Mandela effect. It's all the signs of jumps, jump shifts, jump transitions. You are being playing a game of the transition. And there is a lot of support from the other side to make this transition interesting, dramatic, and to give you an opportunity to shine in the transition to give you the opportunity to use your unique keys and frequencies for igniting and making it happen. Any more expansions, questions, sharings before we wrap up? Yogananda, I need your prayers for uh, t getting out of this last fear I have of uh, prospecting for my business. Um, I feel stuck, so I need your help. Not stuck, I'm opening up. I'm taking my first step, but I need a little push. What is the fear? Can you explain again? Oh, fear of, uh, fear of just going out there and talking to people, you know. I, I'm comfortable when I'm with, if I see some, somebody, but if I don't know the person and if I have to knock at doors for my business, I freeze. I freeze and I cannot move and it's been happening for years. Um, and I need What kind of doors? Of what type of? What kind of doors are you knocking on? Doors? Oh, you mean, uh, for my for my real estate, I have to generate business and I just freeze when I think about prospect, prospecting and it's like I move around in circles and I don't do anything. I mean, I, it's really hard for me. I freeze inside. I get so scared. I, I freeze. What kind of doors would you be knocking on? People's doors. Oh, it makes no sense. Of course you'll run out of energy because it's nonsense. You don't want to bother people. Yeah, and it makes no, it's very inefficient to knock on people's doors. It's a dead end. That's why you run out of energy. It's, you're blocked from that because it is immoral to bother people. Look for other ways, modern ways of networking. Modern ways of networking are very different. 
the old ways are not working anymore because people are trained to stay away from strangers. So you can work only with people who are open to meet you, not for, with not with people who are blocked. So networking is uh, more this modern way is more like partying, party more, dance more. Go to parties every night. That is your job now. Celebrate, celebrate, attract people who need you and uh, try to help them. Find those who really need your help. Party with people and ask what is their interest and see if you can help them. Work as a matchmaker. Even if it's not your business, still try to help them. So go party. Organize parties. Do potluck parties every night, every day. Parties, parties, parties. <laughs> Network with people who want to be together. That's your networking. That's your prospecting. These okay. are this is a process, modern process of generating leads. Organize parties, join parties every day, every night. Okay, that that'd be good. I used to be a very party person, so, and so I need to be that again. And morning yeah. yoga parties, yes, anything. Okay. And um, whoever is attracted to you, don't reject anyone. Even if people are don't, I don't have money. Just still, but they want you. Be friends with them. They might give you more leads and perspectives. Yeah, I just have to Prospects. find people that yes. I'm can be comfortable with. You know, it's yeah. So I'm trying to join some meetup groups and stuff that are more spiritual by nature, that I can be comfortable with those type of people. But a lot of them, they don't have the money to, you know. Here is an idea for you, yes. Find the properties which have spiritual charge and spiritual vortexes and market them to people who will look for spiritually charged properties. Look on vortexes, find locations which are perfect and match make these locations to people who work with energy be a light worker matchmaker and even you can activate activate certain portals on certain properties and then match make these properties with people who are looking for those many people nowadays are aimed to establish communal yoga centers communal healing centers unite with them that would be your bread and butter okay I will look for it. Just ideas. Thank it's for you to make it happen. Okay. Thank you. Pronounce to you. Unless there are many more any more questions, I will wrap it up with a guided meditation. Om Mahayana Sit comfortably, relax. Breathe deeply. At your own time and slowly, deeply, consciously, place your right hand on the heart, left hand on the stomach. Connect your heart and your belly through the hands through the spiral through the shape of your hands through the energy flow through your heart from the heart to your right hand palm to your el right elbow to your right shoulder through your spine to the left shoulder to your left elbow to the stomach back to the heart that curve energize that curve um green energy of the heart flowing through your right hand through your spine to the left hand to the stomach becoming orange orange back to the heart becoming green green orange green orange green orange um, 
when you breathe in take the energy from the universe into your heart when you breathe out send it from the heart through that path from the right hand to the left hand to the stomach send it and then when you breathe in take it from the stomach and pump it in back into the heart and when you breathe out pump it back to the right hand left hand to the stomach Om Hayyahanna Om Breathe in from the stomach to the heart Orange to green Breathe out from the heart to the right hand to the left hand back to the stomach Om Mahayyahanna Om Mahayyahanna Om Mahayyahanna be in your body be in your body now be in your body here connect to your body not only stay in your body but connect all your other energies lower vibrations higher vibrations all of it connected and centered in this curve and this circuit heart stomach circuit connect all of you here unite all of you unite all of you your higher self is here your lower self is here god is here divine mother is here all of that in that circuit heart stomach circuit and on with me Connect with the sound of OM because the sound will carry you and absorb, will carry the vibration, the balance the vibration, manifest the vibration, unite. The sound will be a uniter of the vibration, of all vibrations. The sound will bring you into the state of unity. Om. Om. Keep going. Om. 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 With that, I complete the session. I disconnect, but you can stay in that state of meditation if you like. Have a good day.